Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lauren Lee, and I'm here today to tell you how to make wine into sparkling wine. Buckle up. Today, I will be showing you how to turn regular, boring wine into delicious, sparkling wine. Obviously, this is the same wine because I haven't shown you how to make it sparkling yet. Ew. To begin, you need to get some wine. I like to get my wine from the fridge. In my fridge, I have a box of Pinot Grigio from Costco here in Alpharetta, Georgia. This Pini Grigio is vintage 2019, I think, and was purchased less than three months ago. I'm pretty sure. It was purchased by my dad. My dad likes to get this Pinot Grigio box because of the fact that sometimes his children, me included, come home from school or college and we want to drink something and he wants to have something for us to drink that he knows we will like and that has enough in it that we can get a whole glass full. So that's why we have Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio stands for Pinot, white, and Grigio, which means grape, because it's a white wine and wine is made of grapes. Wow, Pinot Grigio is special in that it kind of looks a little bit like clear, well hydrated pea. This is different than other white wines in that other white wines also taste like near clear dehydrated pea, while this tastes simply sweet. Pinot Grigio was first discovered in Pinot, France, and technically you have to live in the Pinot part of France in order to drink Pinot Grigio, so shh. Don't tell anybody. I am 21. Um, so today, this wine will become sparkling wine. The difference between wine and sparkling wine is that sparkling wine has bubbles in it. These bubbles are made of gas, and this gas makes the drink sparkly. When you drink something that is sparkly, it makes your mouth buzz and burn a little bit. It adds a little bit of spice. Common sparkling drinks that you may have had before include LaCroix, sparkling water, sparkling wine, Sprite, and other drinks made with gas. What is so special about the gas used in sparkling wine is that um, it is really fizzy, and so when you open a bottle of sparkling wine, sometimes it makes a popping noise. Because I am getting my wine from the fridge, and the box in the fridge is already open, I did not get a pop when I poured my glass of Pinot Grigio. Because I've already made my glass of Pinot Grigio, I also will not have the sensation of it popping when I turn it into sparkling wine. Yummy. Pinot Grigio is a well-beloved type of wine across the whole world because of its interesting flavors. It tastes a little bit like grape juice and it has notes of white grape in it as well as it being light and airy. Now, I am going to show you how to turn wine into sparkling wine. So, to begin, you will first need a glass. I have already gotten a glass for myself, but I can 
to show you how to do this. First, you should go to a cabinet like so. You will open the cabinet and you will reach in and grab a glass. I already grabbed a glass, so I'm not going to get a glass, but pretend I got this glass from that cabinet like so. Next, you will open your fridge. And your fridge will be your box wine, as mentioned before. You might not have Pinot Grigio, but that's what we have. Um, it has come to my attention that I have misled you in this video of making wine into sparkling wine. Before, I said that in order to turn wine into sparkling wine, you need a wine. And I implied by stating directly that I was drinking Pinot Grigio from Costco and that it was from the year 2019. It has now come to my attention that the vintage of the wine from Kirkland that my dad bought for me and my siblings is actually 2020. I apologize for the confusion and the deceit. I hope that you will continue to watch regardless. Thank you. So, after you've opened the fridge and retrieved your wine, you are going to want to put your wine into the aforementioned cup. You can do this by putting your cup underneath the wine and pressing the button to release the wine into your cup. Now, a point of noting, there's often bubbles that might happen when you pour your wine out of your box and into your glass. If this is the case, you should know this does not mean that the wine in the box is sparkling, even though there is obvious gas within the wine as shown by the bubbles. What this means instead is that it is still regular wine, but when you pour it, sometimes there will be bubbles even so. Please do not get confused. After you've gotten your wine from your box, you will put it down on the counter and you can put your wine back into the fridge. You can do this by opening the fridge and placing it back where it came from. In my case, the wine was on the bottom shelf on the left. Your wine might be located in a different spot. Please keep this in mind. To make your wine sparkling wine, you will need something else. You will need your dad's soda stream. You can also buy a soda stream at Costco if your dad or mom or guardian or someone you know or yourself has a Costco membership. After you have gotten a soda stream, you will use the soda stream to turn your wine into sparkling wine. You will do this by placing your wine into the soda stream, soda stream contraption. After you place it into the soda stream contraption, make sure that the little soda stream straw is inside of your wine. You need the straw to be inside of the wine in order to get the gas into the wine and make it sparkling wine. 
Next, you push back on the soda stream so that it is locked in place for easy soda stream doing. Next, you will use the button on the top of the soda stream to aerate and put the gas into your wine in order to make sparkling wine. You can do it for however long you want. I normally do it for, you know, a little bit, as demonstrated now. Now, the wine has a lot of bubbles in it, as you can see, and is sparkling wine. Yum. That sure is a healthy hack for if you want to turn your regular wine into sparkling wine. Ew. Yummy. Wow, what a difference. Thank you so much for watching. If you comment below your favorite type of wine, I can try making that wine sparkling next. Until next time, it's me, Lauren. Thank you for coming to my channel. I really appreciate it. Please comment, like, subscribe, comment for more, and hit the notification button to see my videos immediately when they're released. Until next time, it's me, Lauren. Thank you.